Hello everyone, it's Emma and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my 2022 sustainable gift guide for the holiday season. Now, of course, you can use this gift guide all year long for other holidays, for birthdays, anniversaries, and so forth. But I specifically do it this time of year because this is the time of year where a lot of us are buying stuff for one another. And for once, I got it out before Black Friday. So now you don't have to worry about finding something on Black Friday or finding something on Amazon. I'm getting this to you with plenty of time. So even with these small businesses that might take a little bit longer to process, you'll still have plenty of time to order from them before the holiday season. And I have over 150 items for you today. Not to mention, I only repeat a few of these every year, like the products I really, really love. But for the most part, these are 150 plus brand new things I have never mentioned in previous gift guides. You have my one from 2019. That one was focusing on like very big zero waste brands, brands like Pila, Allbirds, things like that. My gift guide in 2020 was focusing on stocking stuffers. So if you're looking for that, check that one out. And then my gift guide from last year, 2021, was focusing on small businesses. Now, a lot of these are also small businesses as well. But that being said, let's just dive into 150 more brands you can shop this holiday season that will have a better impact on the planet than shopping brands like Target and Amazon. I'm also putting a little price guide right here for you. Um, these are the dollar amounts and what they mean. So that way you can pay attention to the ones that are in your price range. And then we also have them broken down into categories. You can check out the timestamps down below. Before we jump in, I'm not leaving all these links in the YouTube description because I think I would run out of characters. I have so many in here. So if you wanna shop these brands, check out the blog post associated with this video, linked in the description. All the links are in that blog post, as well as if you prefer to read along, you have that option as well. Some of these are affiliate links, meaning that when you buy these products, you are supporting me as a creator. It doesn't cost you anything extra. It's just a little incentive that the brand gives me for referring you to their product. I know it might not be the most popular thing, but I highly encourage you ask people what they want for the holidays and tell people what you want for the holidays as well. This prevents unwanted gifts, which we're going to be talking more about in a few weeks, might even be next week, about the environmental impact of Christmas, as well as just the holiday season in general. So let's prevent stuff from going to the landfill and let's normalize telling people what we want for the holidays. And now you don't have to be like, I want the next iPhone. You could be like, I want one of these 10 things. That way that family member can still pick something and it can still be a surprise to you without there being any waste and not only physical waste, but wasting people's money. So let's take that pressure off of one another until tell one another what we want for the holidays. The first category today is home. First up, we have Ecoterra beds, which are naturally derived from latex. This brand I thought was so cool. It's called Pirani Life. They make reusable like red solo cups, but they're made out of aluminum. So that way you can just wash them and reuse them. But if you're looking for party wear this holiday season, that might be disposable because that might be the easiest for you. Totally understand. Check out Repurpose instead of some of these other brands because Repurpose makes things from bioplastics. Even if you can't compost them, I still think bioplastics are better than traditional traditional plastic. And you can check out that video up here. Another great bedding option is Holy Lamb Organics. Now, of course, this is not vegan if you are vegan, but they make organic pillows, comforters, and other bedding needs. Now, if you're looking for a vegan option, you can check out Simply Organic Bamboo. They pretty much do the exact same thing, but made from bamboo instead of wool. If you're looking for some great storage bags or travel bags, you can check out Monarch. They make bags out of recycled plastic. And now we're going to be talking more about this at the end, some like general zero waste stores but one of these like general home goods stores that is a better option than traditional home goods stores is Full Circle Home. You can find things from wooden dish brushes, vegetable peelers, toothbrushes, and everything in between. A great beginner zero waste swap is Bees Wrap. They are essentially just thin pieces of plastic covered in beeswax you can wrap over bowls and pieces of fruit instead of using plastic wrap. Now we got a few options for some eco-friendly toilet paper and paper towels. I have a full video review over several of these brands. I will leave it linked down below for you. But these brands are real who gives a crap and cloud paper and they have a wide array of different types of either recycled paper or made out of bamboo I'm always here for a good pun and this is honestly why I bought um, sheets and giggles when I first moved into this house and we needed new bedding they make eco-friendly bedding essentials from things like bamboo and eucalyptus if you're looking to renovate your home either for this holiday season in the next year check out Eco's paints if you're looking to paint your house because they are a lot less toxic to the environment and you than traditional paint Nui Organics is a New Zealand based brand making all of their clothes out of merino wool which is super sustainable as well as like super stink resistant if you follow me on TikTok you know I'm a huge fan of Nutter this is a homemade nut milk machine and I really like this one because it's small I looked into previous nut milk machines but they were too big they made like a liter of nut milk and I'm like I can't consume that much before it goes bad and speaking 
speaking of cool kitchen gadgets, I highly recommend the Lomi if you live somewhere where you can't compost in your backyard or you don't have curbside composting. Steo is your one-stop shop for all things eco-friendly outdoorsy gear. They make stuff out of recycled plastic and you can use my code Emma Steo. I think it is for 10% off. This next one is a great swap for everyone in the family from kids to older people going to work and this is Eco Lunchbox. They make lunchbox little boxes out of metal and silicone. They're dishwasher safe. They're great for leftovers. They're great for lunches. They're great for hiking. I really love my Eco Lunchbox. This was such a fun swap I discovered this year and that is Everly Candles. Well, candle refills. They're, they send you wax that you can melt into your already used up upcycled candle jar. So you're not paying to ship that heavy breakable candle as well as the the plastic pouch that it comes in is bioplastic, so it's compostable. There's literally zero waste. This is a great way to reuse your candles. And to pair perfectly with your Everly candle, you can try a USB Lighter Co reusable rechargeable lighter. This doesn't use any fuel. Nothing is being thrown away. It takes a few hours to charge. If that, it charges pretty fast. The charge lasts forever. It doubles as a flashlight. This thing is awesome. But if you're like me and you're migraine sensitive, um, I highly recommend checking out Bee Ambience. They make their candles completely out of beeswax, no added scent, burn any sort of toxic or black smoke. And they also come completely plastic free. Or you can check out C and A candles on Etsy. This is a actual like physical candle in a jar, a small business you can support. And these are also vegan and made out of soy wax as well. If you're looking for some home goods that are not just eco-friendly, but also made out of recycled materials, which is really important to me, you can check out Newly. And the last one in this category is to quit buying factory made ceramics. Quit going to Target and picking out a $4 mug that was probably not ethically and sustainably made. And instead support a local potter or just a small potter on Etsy or their own website. This one is specifically Science Ceramics by my friend on Instagram, Marissa. Moving on to apparel and beauty. One of the coolest brands I've discovered this year, I might have even discovered them last year, is the Rebrand. This is refillable skincare without having to go to a refill store, which is like really a great thing because I only have one small refill store in Las Vegas and it's like 40 minutes away. People who live in the Midwest probably have to travel hours to find a refill store. So this is a great option. They will ship you a larger refill that you can use to refill your smaller containers. Nikki Organics makes great undergarments in fun colors or neutrals. I particularly love all of their bra Let's. And if you're looking for some organic essentials for kids and babies, you can check out Colored Organics. Day One is a size inclusive, gender inclusive clothing brand, specifically activewear that is sustainably made in the US. If you're looking for some more luxury pieces, you can check out New Nomads. Another great sustainable skincare option is Malaya Organics. Your one stop, zero waste fashion shop is Urban Kissed. They're a slow and ethical, zero waste marketplace. Or if you're looking for some more vintage finds, you can check out Recollection. This brand, Uloop, is focused on making a closed circle business. I know summer might feel a long time away now that we are in the middle of fall, almost the end of fall, I guess at this point, but Koraru makes some great ethically made, sustainably made swimwear options. I love this brand too. Axiology is such a cool concept. They make zero waste, literally zero waste, plastic free lip tints. And I know that's how they got started. I think they might also make some other products too. If you're looking for some skincare that is also antioxidant rich and made in New Zealand, you can check out the Organic Skin Co. Your one-stop shop for eco-friendly footwear is Aloha's. They make everything from sandals, boots, loafers, and so much more. So Tap Tap Organics, their kind of claim to fame was using wild harvested virgin coconut oil instead of using coconut oil from farms that cause deforestation. I already hinted at them a little bit because I've mentioned them before. That is Allbird. They have everything from activewear, but they specifically focus on like activewear socks and shoes, like running shoes. But recently they've come out with slippers. These slippers are amazing. A longtime favorite casual wear brand of mine is Ten Trees. They plant Ten Trees per item purchased. And they don't just like say they do that, they actually prove it to you. They, when you get your item in the mail, they tell you where they planted those trees for that item. I'm sure many of you have heard of this brand. They are an amazing brand that is Girlfriend Collective. They make activewear out of recycled plastic. Blue Urbane is a one-stop shop zero waste boutique. They focus on jewelry, clothing, candles, and more. This is a pretty small business that I found on Instagram, or rather I think they found me. <laughs> and I love what they're doing, so I highly encourage you to check them out. If you're looking for a handmade knitted garment or crocheted garment, you can check out Pearl One Vintage Two on Etsy. Or if you're looking for a children's costume, dress up outfits, and so forth, you can check out Seemingly Sarah on Etsy as well. This person popped up on my For You page on TikTok, and I am obsessed. They are at The Wooden Moon on TikTok, and they make hand-painted beautiful hats. They can paint them um, custom. I think they do commissions for any season or vibe that you're going for. Another brand I found 
on just scrolling on the internet. I think I was just Googling stuff because I'm looking for um, like some sustainably made wedding attire because I have a couple weddings coming up this winter and I don't know what to wear to a winter wedding. Um, but anyway, I found this amazing brand called Veda where they make a capsule wardrobe for you. If you're unfamiliar with a capsule wardrobe, it's essentially making your wardrobe as small as possible with pieces that can be worn with multiple things and in multiple weight. Another great brand I found on TikTok, shout out to TikTok for recommending a lot of these brands to me. And that is You From Me Thrifted Beauty Products. I know what you're thinking, thrifted beauty product, but don't worry, they have they are unused and they go through a rigorous process to ensure the utmost hygiene. If you're looking for some funky, unique, personalized shorts, jeans, shirts, button-ups, blazers, denim jackets, and so much more, check out Shorts by Sav on TikTok. Um, they have a website as well that's linked in the blog post. But essentially what she does is she thrifts clothing, adds her own personal touch or your personal touch. I think she does commissions as well. So that way you have a very unique piece to you that also was being prevented from going to the landfill. Another great option that I actually have on right now is Be Kind Nail Polish. They are non-toxic, mostly derived from plants, come packaged plastic free. Their colors are absolutely beautiful and they're really affordable for being like a high-end nail polish brand. Now you might be thinking we're like a third of the way through this list already. You kind of want to try some of these brands but you're not sure if you're actually going to like it. You can try Rent in the Loop instead. They specialize in renting out sustainable pieces from brands like Girlfriend and Allbirds and all these other brands that might be a little bit expensive because they are sustainably and ethically made but you're not quite sure you want to commit to that price yet. You can try them out through Rent in the Loop. They rent out these pieces for under $30 per piece, I think. It might be even cheaper than that. But they also do subscriptions, so this could be a great gift you give to someone as well as a subscription to Rent in the Loop. And the last one in this category is Kinfield. This is an eco-friendly as well as like clean ingredient beauty products, but specifically for outdoorsy folks. So things like sunscreen, bug repellent, and so forth. Next, let's talk about health and hygiene. The first one in this category, one of my favorite products of the year, maybe one of my favorite zero waste products, period, is Dame reusable tampon applicators. This is a zero waste swab I have never heard anyone talk about. Again, on the my TikTok for you page and I ordered it immediately because I do a lot of backpacking, hiking, and camping where using a menstrual cup or a menstrual disc isn't always possible because I don't have enough water to wash them. It can get really messy. Tampons are just the easiest way to go when you're out in the backcountry. That being said, regular tampons take up a lot of room and of course it's a lot of waste too. Not even if, even if you're just like using tampons at home, but the applicator itself is washable and reusable. Next, we have a lot of laundry brands. I'm not going to talk about them in depth because I have videos about all these brands that will be linked down below as well as in the blog post. But these brands are Kind Laundry, Earth Breeze, and True Earth. These are all brands of laundry sheets. But if you're looking for an option that is more like your traditional laundry detergent that's a liquid, I highly recommend Dirty Labs. They come in completely recyclable aluminum. Another eco-friendly laundry detergent is Rebel Green. Next, we have Koala Eco. They have a whole line of natural and sustainably derived soaps, dish soap, hand soaps, house cleaners, and so much more. Another brand that I just tried this year is Orlo. They make plastic-free vegan omega-3 supplements. This is a great option option. Now this might be controversial, but this next one is my favorite bidet. And no, it's not Tushy. Sorry, Tushy. It's Whisper Bidet. This is a brand I never hear anyone talking about. They're like way lower on the radar of people when it comes to bidets, but I love them. I highly recommend Whisper, not to mention they're also cheaper than Tushy. And again, we're going back to the tampons. I know it's not your regular Christmas gift, but organic tampons can be expensive. And I think it would be a great gift for someone who needs them. But I highly recommend you check out Tampon Tribe because again, they are organic. If you don't like shampoo bars, don't worry. You can try Everest. They are a concentrated liquid shampoo paste in an aluminum tube. So it's like very, very low waste, very sustainable. We also have Plain Product, which is a sustainable shampoo, conditioner, body wash, face wash, etc. brand. But instead of being in bar form, it's your traditional liquid form. So they send you refills. You keep your little pump. They send you a refill with a little cap. You put your pump in the new bottle and you send them the old bottle back. In the same box, they send it to you in. They give you a shipping label. So you don't even have to pay to return your bottles. Next is for toothpaste tab lovers. This is a brand that I hear recommended a lot and that has Huppy toothpaste. Now I am not a toothpaste tab fan, but if you are, highly recommend this brand. Do you prefer foaming hand soap to hand soap bars? Me too. So if you're like me, you should check out Petal. So it's a refillable foaming hand soap, but you're not paying to ship that water weight. Another thing I despise is regular floss. I love floss picks but they are so wasteful. And that's why I'm really glad I found this swap this year that is Quip. They also make um, more eco-friendly toothbrushes and toothpaste, but the item that I specifically love is their reusable floss pick. This thing is amazing. You just open the mouth of the floss pick, 
pick up some new floss and then you can floss and you're only disposing of that little piece of string. If you're looking for a great period underwear brand, I highly recommend Mighty Body. Cannot recommend them enough. They've become more sustainable over the years, more body inclusive, size inclusive, gender inclusive. They make postpartum stuff now. They make period underwear for disabled people. They're working on becoming carbon neutral, if not even carbon negative. Amazing brand and I have a lot of videos talking about them linked below. Here comes TikTok to the rescue again. They showed me this brand Oak and Willow. They make everything from sustainable bath bombs, hand soap, soap bars, and so much more. But specifically for neurodivergent folks in mind, particularly those of us that um, sensory sensitive. A brand I tried this year that I was a little hesitant to try, not gonna lie, is Bodhi Reusable Tissues and Toilet Paper. This can save you so much money and waste over the long run. They're really not that expensive to buy up front, so I think this would make a great gift as well. The Earthling Co. makes a wide array of shampoo bars, conditioner bars, body soap bars, hand bars, so many more different types of soap bars, and even zero waste dry shampoo. You can also check out Parrotfish, which checks all the boxes. Not only are they zero waste sustainable ethical, they're also palm oil free, which I know is a big issue, hot debate in the sustainable community. And they do this in their shampoo bars, soap bars, and conditioner bars. The last one in this category is Lil Helper. They make things like reusable pads, reusable postpartum products, as well as reusable diapers. Moving on to games, toys, recreation, outdoors. I wasn't really sure what to call this category, but that's that's where we're at. The first one is Aventon e-bikes. Of course, you can get someone a regular bike, specifically secondhand. You can find bikes secondhand pretty easily, but I love my e-bike because I currently live in Las Vegas. Las Vegas is known for their urban sprawl, meaning it takes me several miles to get someplace like a coffee shop, the library, even the grocery store is pretty a pretty decent walk. Something I never thought I would see and that I'm super happy to see is Eco Sports. It's exactly what it sounds like. They make sports and sports equipment supplies, but make it eco-friendly. And of course, I'm not gonna leave out the artist. You can check out Eco-Friendly Crafts. They are your one-stop shop for all your low-waste crafting needs. Some really big eco-friendly outdoorsy brands are Cotopaxi and Patagonia. They also make a lot of their products, including my favorite puffy jacket out of recycled plastic. They use other recycled materials and naturally derived materials. Cotopaxi is amazing. They take outdoor industry waste from other big brands like the North Face, probably REI, maybe even Patagonia too. And they use those scraps to make new products like my fanny pack that I have here. Now, this one is probably not your typical zero waste brand, but it is a zero waste product. And this has been a lifesaver for me as an outdoor enthusiast. I like to camp in cold climates and I am not suited for cold climates. That is a reusable hand warmer. I'm sure you've seen these traditional hand warmers. I used to use them when I was in marching band. They last only a couple hours and then you have to throw them away. I don't think they can be recycled ever. They're made out of plastic super wasteful. This reusable hand warmer lasts several hours, gets way hotter, and it's rechargeable. I think it also has a flashlight on it and it might even double as a phone charger. Like this thing is amazing. Next up is accessories. And the first one that we have to talk about that I have to talk about every year is Pila Case. I love what they're doing. Here's one of their phone cases right now. And since I started talking about them, they've developed so many more products. They have this Gripply, which is like a pop socket equivalent. They also have the world's first zero waste screen protector. Their phone cases, their Gripplies, even their sunglasses, which, which is the next one, is Pila Vision. Check out their sunglasses as well. All made of bioplastics, meaning they are all 100% compostable. Another product that I have really grown to love this year is Got Bag. They're the world's first backpack that is made out of recycled ocean plastic. If you're looking for some sustainably made sunglasses for every person, every season, Season, you can check out Opolis. If you're looking for more than just a sustainable book bag, sustainable backpack, you want something more like a purse, a wallet, so forth, you can check out Raven and Lily. And if you're looking for a bag that is completely plastic free, you can check out Terra Thread. They're made out of organic and vegan materials that are only grown with rainwater, meaning they don't use any extra water in the growing process. For all your outdoorsy needs, but make it more eco-friendly, you can check out Cold Tree. They make everything from hammocks to blankets and more. Have you ever wondered what happens to the custom backdrops at theaters and curtains and so forth? I have two. Thank you, TikTok, for showing me this brand. But this brand is Scenery Bag. So they are taking that theater waste and turning them into really cool clutches, wallets, purses, and more. And then if you're looking for some really unique handmade pride pins, as well as other accessories, you can check out Art by Ashley Parent. They are a small artist. They are non-binary, disabled, and their work is super fun. The next category is foodstuffs, because who doesn't want to receive tasty treats for the holidays? Now, this might be, this might sound like not a tasty treat, but that is, this is rotten food boxes. And so what they do is they take food that is imperfect, 
that otherwise would have just gone to the landfill and turn it into tasty treats. Things like soup mixes, as well as dehydrated fruits, which are great snacks alone, but you can add to cereal, oatmeal, baked goods, and more. If you're looking for the perfect reusable straw this time of year, because I know it's like a stereotypical zero waste swap, but we all need at least one, right? Check out Simply Straws to get yours today. I wanted to include this one because it's super interesting and unique. Now, I'm not sure how much of a typical holiday gift this is, but you can try Hope and Sesame. They make sesame plant milk. So it's super unique, something I've never heard of personally. You've probably never heard of as well. Now a brand I need everybody to try right now because what they're doing is so cool. This is climate candy. It's pretty similar to the rotten fruit box. They're taking fruits that otherwise would have gone to the landfill and turning them into delicious candy. I have a full TikTok video talking about them. I'll leave linked below. Yeah, this is a great stocking stuffer or even just, I might just buy this for myself to eat at work. Now, if you're looking for some eco-friendly chocolates, you can check out Alter Eco. They make everything plastic free and everything that looks and feels like plastic in their brand is bioplastic that I actually tested can be composted at home. Not to mention they make some fun holiday flavors as well and they have a wide range of flavors that are vegan and non-vegan. I think I've talked about Stojo before back when they were just a cup company. They were like one of the very first big brands that made collapsible reusable cups that you can take to cafes and stuff. But now they also make like child sippy cups as well as bowls and containers that you can use for takeout containers, lunches for your work. They collapse really small so they take up less room. Absolutely love this brand. If you are also a Las Vegas local but I believe they ship, you can check out Something Sweet LV. They're not only tasty, they are vegan and they also can ship plastic free if you want. They can send you stuff in mason jars and it's a great small business to support this holiday season. It makes a great stocking stuffer. Now if you're looking for the perfect reusable water bottle and water filter in one, look no further than water to go. You can scoop up some water and drink straight from it because the filter like filters the water before it actually goes into your mouth. They also have water bottles that are designed for sports. If you want to put it in your bike, it has that specific design where it'll fit in your bike. We don't want to forget our furry friends during the holiday season. I have a few options for you for your pets. They are pure earth pets and the kind pet. They're pretty similar. It's just like a one-stop shop, zero waste pet store, compostable dog poop bags, toys made out of hemp and cotton. The Kind Pet also has some really fun dog treats that are made out of food waste. So check out both of those for your furry friends. Now, say you've listened to this whole list of things, you've watched my last three videos, and you still can't think of what to buy someone for this holiday season. Here's a whole list of some zero waste, one-stop shop eco stores. I'm not going to dive too far in depth, and each of them you can check out their about sections on each of their websites. Okay, I'm gonna list these smaller brands first, because as always, I always encourage you shop small before shopping these bigger brands. The first one is One Stop Eco Shop. Next is Earth Love. A couple of some Las Vegas locals if you live here, but they all ship as well. They are Me Mother Earth, Coco Eco, and The Minimal Market. You can also check out Woodburn Naturals. And then we have Eco Roots, The Ultimate Green Store, The Zero Waste Store, package free shop and earth hero. Finally, to my favorite category to gift people for the holidays, that is experiences. Of course, things can be great. I, I ask for things, but I love experiences. They are so special. You get to share memories with people. And I tried to think of a few different experiences that I've never thought of before for this one. So sorry if a few of them are repeats, but we have a wine tasting or a winery slash brewery tour. Lessons, not only for kids, but also adults. Like I would love like language class or piano lesson, but even like some more big picture things like basketball lessons piloting. Something that I would love as an eco-friendly person is a national parks pass or a state's park pass for the year. And similar to that is a Airbnb booking or a hip camp booking. So hip camp is kind of like Airbnb. You're more like renting the plot of land and you can car camp there. Gas cards are always appreciated, especially in this economy. Amusement park passes are another option for the adrenaline junkies. Sports tickets are always a great go-to gift for a local hockey game, basketball game, football game, whatever it may be. Something really fun that we did, not necessarily for the holidays, um, but we, was it last year? I think it was last year, right before we left Japan. We rented a camper van for two weeks and drove across all of Japan. It was amazing. All the videos for that will be linked below. But you could even just rent like a camper van locally. I know Cruise America is a big brand, AV, I don't know what it stands for. I just see them on the road all the time, especially at national parks. And you could do like a national parks tour or something like that. Now that borders are opening again after COVID, you could take an international trip. Go-kart racing would be another fun option. I'm not sure why I put this on here because I'm pretty anti-golf, but a lot of us have golfers in our life. You could buy someone a round or two of golf. A camping trip or a road trip would be a lot of fun. You could give someone an oil change or general car maintenance, especially like if you're like Dan and you know how to change 
change oil, you can just buy the oil and change it yourself instead of paying the service to pay someone else to change the oil. Paint and sip is a really fun activity to do as like a group. Similar to that would be a pottery or a woodworking class. Teaching Brainiacs is a tutor on Instagram. You could also use this really cool app called EcoRate to find eco-friendly cafes in your area. And then you could get a gift card at that cafe to gift someone. And then of course, just general gift cards are a great gift, especially when you don't know exactly what to gift someone. And the last one on this list, which I can't believe I've never thought of, is to buy someone a tattoo. If any of my family is watching, if you wanna buy me a tattoo for Christmas, yes, please. Do you like to say hello? Right here. The next category is a subscription-based service. The first one is educational materials on Lesson Planet. This is great for kids. Another great option for kids is Green Kid Crafts. They do not only crafts, but also science-based activities that are a monthly subscription-based box. My friends on Instagram, Jess and Sarah, started their own Zero Waste Masterclass, which is really cool and exciting. Their next class starts January 4th. I have some information in the blog post about it if you'd like to sign up or sign someone up for their gift. And what perfect timing, it starts right after the holiday season. You could buy someone a service like Skillshare. That way they can pick whatever kind of lesson they want. You could just buy them a general Skillshare subscription and they can choose whether they want to take something like photography, knitting, woodworking, gardening, literally anything you could ever imagine. And that way you don't have to think about like, hmm, I wonder which class they want to take. Again, I already mentioned Hip Camp, but you can buy subscription services to things like Hip Camp, Harvest Host, other things for the fellow campers, van lifers in your life. If you have some friends or family that are backpackers and campers, hikers, you could buy their Garmin subscription service for the year or other sort of GPS service. You could give someone the gift of a subscription to services like Misfits Markets and Imperfect Foods. If you have a photographer or videographer in your life, you could buy them a subscription to DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut Pro, Adobe, Lightroom, whatever it may be, whatever kind of tools they like to use. You could pay for someone's annual public transportation pass. You could simply just pay for someone's yearly subscription of things like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime. You could gift someone the annual subscription to their favorite Patreon member. Um, again, family, if you're listening, if you wanna buy me um, completely arbitrary as Patreon membership, I would love that. You could also make a donation in someone's name via Penny Loafer. So Penny Loafer is a great platform that you don't have to do any research into the brands because I know like that's really overwhelming for me. It's like, which brand is actually ethical? Which brand is actually sustainable? Are they actually using my money for good? Penny Loafer does all the vetting process. You just give them your money. They make the donation. They don't make any profit off of your money. The next category is refurbished and secondhand. I know it's not everybody's like favorite thing to give something used to someone for the holidays, but I can't tell you how many times I've done it and people literally don't even know. So the first one is to re-gift something in your own home. If you declutter and you find something like, hey, my friend was just talking about this. They would find some great value in this item that I just decluttered. Give that to them for the holiday. It's not only free for you, um, but it's keeping something out of the landfill. Books and movies are also a great thing to find secondhand, not only at places like Goodwill, the Salvation Army local thrift stores, but on services like thrift books. I also find frames galore at thrift stores so you could put your own personal artwork in there. Dan is a photographer. I also dabble in photography if I do say so myself. Um, so we love to gift people our photography prints from our travels. They make really great memories and gifts. You can also check out my complete guide to buying tech secondhand without getting scammed, linked above and below. This is a great option if someone in your life is like, hey, I would love an iPad, I would love a camera, I could really use a new phone. You could find this item secondhand, save you a ton of money and save these resources from going to the landfill. If someone gives you a list of things they want for the holidays, instead of immediately going to Walmart, Target or shopping on Amazon, try looking secondhand instead. It might take a little perusing, it might not be quite as straightforward as shopping on Amazon, but it has become a lot easier these days, especially with secondhand services like OfferUp and Facebook Marketplace, it's become very easy to search for things. And as well as you can get them shipped to you, they don't have to be necessarily local secondhand items. But like some of our favorite things we found secondhand, like my kombucha brewing kit, our camera, my light that I'm using, that light back there, Dan's mountain bike, he got secondhand for like half the price of a normal mountain bike. I find so many great things secondhand, so I highly encourage you check secondhand first. And then another great option that is secondhand, but like you don't have to do any of the work, is Style Me KG. I found her on TikTok. She makes these beautifully handcrafted curated boxes based off of your like inspiration board for your fashion picks and finds all of these items secondhand vintage and then sends them to you. And then the last category we have for today is handmade DIYs slash service-based gifts. Baked goods are always a great idea, not to mention they're probably free because you probably already have sugar and flour and other ingredients in your pantry. Propagated plants are such a great gift. 
that plant right there is propagated. I actually just, um, my, my snake plants had babies too. You can re-gift them in upcycled containers. It can be completely free. Um, and plants are a great gift that last months, if not sometimes years. If you're an artist of any kind, if you're a photographer, you're a painter, you're a woodworker, you're a crocheter, whatever it may be, whatever your craft is, you can make someone something yourself. You could offer to clean their car or their house, which is completely free. You can offer to babysit for the parents in your life, as well as you can give them like a gift card to dinner so you can pay for their entire date night out without them having to hassle trying to find a babysitter. Home cooked meals are another great option for a gift. Grocery store gift cards, again, gas gift cards. I'm not gonna keep talking about that. Or any gift card to a local small business. Really encourage you look for small businesses in your area. Again, instead of just being like, I'll just get you an Amazon gift card. Like I get it, Amazon's great. It has everything you want. But let's try to support small businesses all year long, but especially during the holiday seasons where brands like Amazon really do reign. And same with instead of getting someone a Starbucks gift card, look for a local coffee shop in your area. That is all for today. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. I know these gift guides can get a little bit long, but I hope that you found some value in this video. And again, if you didn't, if you're like this 155-ish items was still not enough for me for the holidays, I have three more videos where that came from. So what, we're at like 600 ideas for your holidays. Um, They're all linked down below if you would like to check them out. Again, check out the blog post link down below for the actual shopping links for these products. I hope that you have a healthy and happy holiday season. Um, and I have some fun content coming for the rest of the year. Like I already said, we're talking about the environmental impact of Christmas. We're doing an anti-haul, which is like anti-holidays, which is wasteful things I hate during the holiday season. I'm doing a brand re-review. I'm talking about all of the brands again that I've reviewed so far in 2022 and like giving you my thoughts after using them for several months, see if I still like them, see if I don't like them. I'm doing a year in review. These are just my typical end of the year content, which I can't believe we're already at the end of the year already. I'm doing a 2023 eco resolutions video. I have a lot of exciting stuff coming. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. I talk about all sorts of things, zero waste, focusing on free, easy, and fun ways to live low waste and practical ways to be an activist. If you found any value in this video, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. If you have any more brand suggestions for the holiday season, please leave them down below, especially if you are also a small business. I would love to feature you in next year's gift guide. Please leave your businesses linked down below. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you for watching. And until next time, remember that your small actions have a big impact in the long run. Bye guys. I think I stuttered, but I don't care. Oh, my back already hurts from sitting. <laughs> oh geez, where am I? And to pair perfect with, <laughs> and that is you from me thrifted beauty wear or beauty supply, beauty products. Next up, we're looking at health and hygiene. I think my voice cracked. Oh, they have refillable like little tabs you put in your hand soap, foaming po- It's a, <laughs> I don't even know what I want to say. Refillable, that's the word. Things like compostable, nice. And if you're, did the lights just flash or did I just freak out? Anyway, future me, this also needs to go in the beginning and this is what happens when I just try to wing it and don't read my script.